couple of remarks you see uh, what we did was uh, uh, we start with uh, x uh, an affine variety uh, it is an irreducible closed subset uh, of affine space okay and uh, you and we took uh, a point p of x the point given by uh, coordinates lambda 1 through lambda n all right and we had uh, of course uh, the the affine coordinate ring of x is just the affine coordinate ring of the affine space divided by the ideal of x okay uh, and that is just k uh, x1 etc xn divided by the ideal of x okay and of course uh, if you calculate the uh, uh, so you know the there is the maximal ideal corresponding to the point p in the uh, uh, this is the maximal ideal of, of p in uh, the whole uh, the whole affine space the affine coordinate ring of the whole affine space and then so we defined uh, we defined uh, the essentially the gradient function uh, the function that associates to each a polynomial its gradient at the point p which is given by you know uh, k x1 through xn to I think I call the map psi and uh, that takes uh, so this is into kn which takes any g to uh, you simply take the gradient namely you pass take the partial derivatives of g with respect to these n variables and you evaluate at the point p. So this is a dou g by dou x1 at p and so on dou g by dou xn at p okay and what we noticed is that uh, 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 psi is k linear uh, uh, psi maps uh, the the generators x i minus lambda i of uh, m p 
which is a subspace of the polynomial ring uh, because uh, everything that we are dealing with uh, uh, I mean all rings we are dealing with when we are worried about varieties all the uh, rings of regular functions and affine coordinate rings they are all k algebras okay and therefore they are ideals ideals in such rings will automatically become k subspaces okay and uh, this this mp is generated by these uh, by these generators and if you take the gradient of these at the point p uh, you will get the standard basis okay so uh, so it means that the image uh, so the image of mp of the subspace mp uh, contain uh, contains a basis of kn therefore it is surjective and what we proved is that the kernel is exactly mp squared okay uh, uh, psi restricted to mp from mp to kn is surjective that is on to also uh, kernel of uh, psi restricted to mp is exactly mp squared the square of this ideal which is uh, which is also a subspace mind you of uh, mp and uh, so what we got what what we got was an isomorphism uh, we got a, a k linear isomorphism uh, which I think I also called what did I call it I also called that as psi probably the k linear isomorphism uh, from mp mod mp squared to kn psi dash ok. So, so we got this psi dash which is from mp mod mp squared to kn all right and uh, uh, now now you see um, now the 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 fact was that uh, 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 the so if you calculate so if you take i x uh, uh, if you take uh, if f 1 etcetera up to f l uh, generate i x you take a finite set of generators for the i, I x and that is true because i x is a uh, it is an ideal in no ethereum ring the polynomial ring is no ethereum and therefore uh, every ideal is finitely generated. So, i x is finitely generated and you pick a set of generators uh, then uh, then you know if you uh, then you calculate uh, then the rank of the uh, Jacobian of uh, uh, this set of generators uh, which is uh, do f i by do x j uh, at the point p uh, this turns out to be uh, uh, exactly the the image under psi prime of the subspace given by uh, i x plus m p squared by m p squared okay uh, is equal to uh, dimension uh, it is go, it's going to be dimension of the uh, uh, psi prime of i x plus m p squared over m p squared which is subspace of m p over m p squared mind you i x uh, i of x is contained in m p because p is a point of x okay. So, uh, so this is the dimension of this and this is well uh, this is this is one fact then then the other fact was that uh, is that um, uh, if you take m p mod m p squared and you divide by this subspace which is i x plus m p squared mod m p squared the claim is that this is isomorphic this is a k linear isomorphism of this vector space with m p mod m p squared ok where uh, m p is the unique uh, 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 is the unique maximal ideal uh, 
is the unique maximal ideal in OXP which is of course given by uh, it is given by the localization of a fine coordinate ring of x at the ideal at the maximum ideal that, that corresponds to p in x which is given by m uh, uh, p sub x okay uh, and where of course uh, m that is uh, m p sub x is just you know it is m p mod i x it is just the uh, it is the maximal ideal in the affine coordinate ring of x corresponding to the point p okay just like points of uh, uh, just like points of affine space correspond to maximal ideals in this ring which is the affine coordinate ring of the affine space which is a version of the Nourish-Tollensatz the same way the points of uh, uh, the points of x are in bijective correspondence with the maximal ideals of ax okay and and that and the corresponding maximal of ideal of ax is just gotten by taking the maximal ideal uh, of that point in this polynomial ring and going modulo ix okay and that's why the maximal ideal of the point p in x is just the maximal ideal of the point p in the in uh, uh, in affine space modulo the ideal of x okay and uh, because of this k linear isomorphism uh, and because of this what you get is that if you so uh, the dimension of this minus the dimension of this is equal to the dimension of this but the dimension of this is the same as dimension of its image under psi prime because psi prime is an isomorphism and restricted to, to a subspace it is injective right and uh, therefore what you get is uh, so the upshot of these two things is that the rank of the Jacobian of do fi by do xj uh, at the point p uh, this is equal to dimension of this which is equal to well it is equal to dimension of this uh, dimension of this minus dimension of mp mod mp squared okay. So this will be equal to dimension of uh, capital mp mod mp squared minus dimension uh, of uh, uh, small mp mod mp squared of course dimensions are all over as k vector spaces okay. And, uh, but but of course mp mod m, capital mp mod capital mp squared is isom uh, is isomorphic as a vector space to k and so its dimension is n so you end up with getting n here minus dimension of mp uh, mod mp squared and uh, uh, and well uh, p is non singular uh, p is non singular P is a non-singular point uh, of of X, if and only if the definition is well. Uh, if you calculate the rank of this Jacobian, the rank of the Jacobian of a set of generators for the ideal of X at the point P should give you the co-dimension of X. So this this is true if and only if uh, 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 this is co-dimension of X. So you you get co-dimension of X in a n so co dimension of x in a n is equal to n minus dimension uh, over k of uh, mp mod mp squared and and that leads uh, but co dimension of x in a n is just dimension of a n minus dimension of x so that condition translates to just saying that the dimension of x is equal to the, the dimension of mp mod mp squared and uh, and mind you that the dimension of x is always given also by the dimension of the local ring uh, of x at any of its points okay therefore uh, and of course here when i say dimension of x it is the topological dimension when i say dimension of the ring here it is the cruel dimension all right this is the topological dimension this is the cruel dimension and this is dimension as a vector space okay so <coughs> the moral of the story is that uh, is that uh, this the the point p of x is a smooth point a non singular point if and only if the dimension of m mod m square m, m mod m square at that point okay where m is the maximum ideal unique maximum ideal of the, uh, of the local ring at that point is equal to the dimension of x which is the same as dimension of the local ring and uh, of course uh, uh, this tells us that uh, really you know 
uh, finally you see this n uh, which is the dimensional affine space in which x was embedded that has finally gone out of uh, the final statement okay. So if I had uh, I could have uh, this this n did not come in the in the final picture okay I could have I this instead of this n it could have been some other m okay but that would not have affected this final statement all right so you see uh, one it really did not depend on uh, the embedding of x in an affine space and you also see that after you fixed after you have fixed one embedding of x in affine space as an irreducible closed subset it also did not depend on the number of generators this L also could have been arbitrary I could have taken any other uh, set of generators but still I will get the same uh, conclusion. So, so this fact tells you that the definition of non singularity uh, which is given by this by choosing an embedding uh, in affine space and then choosing a set of generators and calculating the rank of the Jacobian at that point. Uh, for those generators that though it seems to depend on the embedding in affine space and on the choice of generators for the ideal actually does not depend on those things. The, the definition is uh, therefore in this the definition that the point P is uh, smooth point if and only if this is this this rank turns out to be the co-dimension of x okay uh, that uh, uh, is independent uh, of all these choices. And finally, the condition that the point P is a smooth point or a non singular point is a very nice condition, it does not depend on any of these things, it is very intrinsic. It is the condition is just that the uh, dimension of MP mod MP squared over K as a vector space over K should be the same as the topological dimension of X, which is the same as uh, the dimension of uh, the local ring at that point, okay. So, uh, but um, perhaps. Uh, 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 so, uh, this uh, this isomorphism is something that needs to be this needs to be checked. Okay, this isomorphism needs to be checked, uh, but it's kind of uh, uh, pretty easy because you know. Uh, so, as a remark, let me let me tell you that as a remark, yeah, you see, you have i x plus m p uh, squared. Uh, sitting inside uh, uh, this is sitting inside uh, uh, MP as a subspace all right and you well uh, on the other hand you have uh, you know uh, uh, you know if you take if you take uh, uh, if you take I x I x sits inside MP and it also sits inside this okay. So you know if you take the quotient that is you go mod uh, MP mod IX what you will get is uh, the short exact sequence okay namely uh, uh, you have this modulo this is isomorphic to this okay. So you will get MP mod IX but MP mod IX is actually uh, M, uh, M, uh, MP sub X. Okay, and uh, well, if you take the quotient here, what you'll get is i x plus m p squared by i x is just simply going to be m p m p mod uh, m p mod i x the whole squared you'll get. So here you will get m p mod i x uh, the whole squared, okay, which is just uh, m p sub x squared. This is what you'll get. All right. And uh, uh, well, um, you see, so if you calculate, uh, so this is again a. Uh, 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 so when I divide by i x, that is the same as dividing m p squared by i x, but. I claim that that is dividing the same that is the same as dividing m p by a x and then taking squared okay this is something that you can easily check all right and uh, and you see you know if you take 
this inside this and now take the quotient here I will get uh, uh, here I will get m p mod i x plus m t i x plus m p squared ok and here you know here what I am going to get here if I again do this I am simply going to get m p m x p mod uh, m x p squared ok I will get this and the fact is that this is this is an isomorphism right this will be an isomorphism you can check that alright and further ok. So, this will be an isomorphism and mind you what I have written on le the left side is exactly uh, m p mod m p squared by x plus m p squared mod m p squared is also m p mod i x plus m p the whole squared alright. So, I and I want to show that that is so the statement is that this is linearly isomorphic to this alright. Now what I want to tell you is once you once you check you once you check this isomorphism of course this diagram commutes ok and this is identity map alright. Uh, if you want you know I can even uh, put 0 here because i x mod i x is 0 right and in fact uh, now what you must understand is that you know you have uh, uh, now you have the short exact sequence 0 I mean you have uh, m x p squared <coughs> sitting inside m x p and then you have the quotient m p x mod uh, m sub x p squared ok I have this sh this short exact sequence alright. Now what you do is you up you just uh, tensor this with uh, with the local ring uh, a x localized at m x p over a x this is a short exact sequence of a x modules ok because these are all ideals these two this is an ideal in a x ok this is the maximal ideal of the point p in a x and this is square the square of the ideal and the quotient uh, the quotient will not be an ideal but it will be a module because uh, 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 ideals of a ring are just sub, sub modules ok. So, this quotient will not be an ideal but it will be a module it will be an a x module. So, this is a short exact sequence of a x modules and then if you tensor it with a x over uh, tensor it over a x with a x localized at m x p ok you know that the if you have seen in a first course in commutative algebra <coughs> you would have learned that uh, uh, tensoring with the local ring tensoring with the localization uh, is the same as uh, 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 tensoring with the localization is a, a uh, t tensoring a sequence of modules with uh, the localization of the ring is the same as applying the localization uh, localization to the sequence of modules ok. Uh, in other words uh, uh, localization is an exact functor ok therefore this uh, sequence when you tensor it with a with this local ring ok then uh, I will again get an exact sequence but after you tensor it if you tensor the maximal ideal with this uh, with this local ring what you will get is you will get the maximal ideal of that local ring ok. So, uh, when you tensor m x m p x with this what you will get is the maximal ideal of uh, this local ring which is small m p. So, after tensoring what you will get is this exactly. And so uh, you know yeah so the point I want to make is that these two have the same dimension ok this has the same dimension as this alright. But then whatever its dimension is ok see the same dimension you will get if you tensor it over this because the residue field is still k the residue field of uh, this local ring ok namely this local ring if you go model that unique maximal ideal you will still get the same residue field k. Therefore, if you whatever this dimension is as a k vector space 
you will get the same dimension for this after tensoring over this local ring for the simple reason that the residue field of that local ring is the same k ok therefore you will still get uh, the dimension of this over k is the same as the dimension of this over k but then the, these two are isomorphic therefore you get the dimension of this over k the, the same as the dimension of this over k and that is what we want to show ok. So that is uh, that is something that you have to check I mean th this is an outline of what you have to check alright. So, uh, so this is one thing then um, then the other thing I wanted to uh, say is uh, uh, is in connection with this proof ok uh, several things in connection with this proof. So, the first thing I want to say is let sing x be the set of all points of x such that p uh, x is uh, singular at p look at the so look at the set set of singular points of a variety ok. So, x is a variety and uh, look at all those points of x which are not non singular points which are not non singular are called singular ok look at those points. Now, now the fact is that uh, uh, the fact I want to make is that single the, the set of singular points is a closed set and it is a proper closed set. So, so here is the uh, so here is the theorem uh, then so the first corollary is that the, the set of singular points is a closed subset of x ok. So, here here from now on x is any variety ok need not be affine x is any variety mind you uh, for any variety a point is called to called a non singular point if you know you take that point as a point of an affine open sub variety and there it should be non singular ok. Because whether a point is smooth or not is a is a kind of uh, condition that is checked only in a neighborhood of the point ok. It is something that you should check in a, uh, a local neighborhood of the point locally at that point you have to check it ok. So, if you have any point of any variety how do you check how do you check whether it is smooth uh, whether it is non singular what you are supposed to do is you take that point that point will certainly be contained in an affine open subset because you know any variety is covered by finitely many affine open subsets namely it is covered by finitely many open subsets each of which is isomorphic to an affine variety ok. So, uh, if you want to check a point is smooth or not well you can you have two ways now if you want to check it intrinsically you calculate dimension m mod m squared and check whether it is you get the same thing as the dimension of x if you get the same thing as the dimension of x then it is a smooth point. But otherwise competitive algebra a little bit more competitive algebra will tell you that uh, you you might end up getting more uh, dimension because the dimension of m mod m squared gives you the dimension of the tangent space at that point ok and uh, you could in general at a bad point you could have more time more tangent vectors the dimension of the tangent space could be more than the dimension of the of the object of the variety. So, uh, this could be bigger than this if this is strictly bigger than this uh, then it is a bad point it is a singular point if this is equal to this then it is a smooth point. So, this is one way of checking the other way of checking is of course, you take an open as uh, you can you take an open uh, affine sub variety ok and uh, you embed it in affine space then you take a, a, a set of generators for the ideal calculate the rank of the Jacobian and check whether you get the co dimension namely whether you get the dimension of the ambient affine space minus the dimension of the variety I mean the open affine, affine subset that you have embedded ok that is another way of checking. But uh, you know which one is which one is good and which one is not good is depends on your situation if you want an abstract theorem if you want to prove an abstract theorem about uh, points some non singular points then it is better to use this. On the other hand if you have a specific situation where you know the equations of the variety ok then it is th that means you know a set of generators for the ideal ok then you can use this ok. So, uh, uh, what you have to use is uh, depends on the situation alright. Now, but anyway what I want to say is the set of points which are uh, uh, which are bad uh, what kind of a set do they form they form uh, 
a closed set all right and uh, why is that a corollary of this it's a it's a corollary of this is it's a corollary of this because you see what you are doing is when I define this map psi okay uh, you know I could have uh, you can think of see in all these things I had fixed this point p I had fixed this point p in x okay but you think of the point p as a variable point think of the point p as a variable point if you think of the point p as a variable point okay then you know what are uh, going to be the points p which are singular they are all those points such that when you calculate the rank of this Jacobian you see the rank of this the rank of this matrix you know the, this uh, should not be equal to the codimension all right so it will be uh, it will be lesser than that okay so as i told you you see at a bad point uh, this is going to give you the dimension of the tangent space okay at a bad point you will have more tangent vectors so the tangent space this is this is the dimension of the tangent space this is going to go up if this goes up this is going to go down but this is exactly the but this is exactly the uh, rank of the jacobian matrix at that point so what are the bad points p the bad points p are those points for which uh, the rank uh, goes down okay and uh, what are the points uh, p for which uh, the rank goes down therefore they are the defined by the uh, they are those points which satisfy uh, the polynomial equations given by taking all the uh, uh, you know minors okay you take you take the minus minor determinants of this uh, matrix okay but you take not the biggest but uh, you know uh, 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 or you take the biggest uh, you take the largest possible minors and they all should vanish okay if when does the rank of a matrix uh, when when is a matrix of full rank when the largest possible when at least one of the largest possible minors minor determinants does not vanish okay so when is it going to be of lesser rank it will be of lesser rank if you take all possible maximal minor determinants they should all vanish so the condition that the rank falls is a vanishing condition it is a va it is given by vanishing of some uh, minor determinants and therefore you know uh, the points p uh, which are singular they correspond to the points which uh, they correspond to the points of x at which if you take the maximal minors determinants of this which are again by the way polynomials okay those polynomials given by the maximal minor determinants they should also vanish okay and that is of course a closed set okay so it is uh, so so i uh, because of that observation what happens is that if x is an affine variety in a n then you get that the singular points of x is a closed set okay and but the the topologically a set being closed is something that you can check on an on a cover okay and therefore the same is true for any variety because any variety admits a cover by open sets which are affine varieties okay so the moral of the story is that the set of singular points is a closed set okay so what is uh, what is an ideal for this i mean if x is affine an ideal for this is just given by uh, you take the ideal of x okay and you also take you add in also these polynomials okay without the p you take all the maximal minor determinants they will also be some more polynomials finitely many polynomials you add them also to the ideal of uh, to take them together with the ideal of x and the zero set of this is going to be exactly the set of singular points of x and that is therefore the zero set of uh, it is an algebraic set therefore it is a closed subset okay uh, therefore this is always a, a closed subset all right now what is more serious what is more serious is that uh, and this is very very important what is more serious is that uh, the bad situation that all points are singular does not occur in other words this 
this closed set is a smaller closed set it is not the whole space ok. What it means is the its complement is a non empty open set and you know a non empty open set is irreducible and dense ok. So, which means that there is a huge open subset of points which are all good points they are all non singular the set of bad points is only a smaller uh, closed set ok it is a small closed set. So, so here is a more serious theorem so here is a theorem the theorem is that the singular points of x is a proper closed set subset of x ok. This is an important theorem and uh, what it implies is that uh, I mean what it says uh, you know from the viewpoint of the if you think of it with respect to uh, you know uh, usual analysis where we study where we think of uh, you know smooth uh, geometric objects as being given by manifolds. So, what it says is <laughs> well every variety has a huge open set which looks like a manifold ok and it is the complement of that open set which is the boundary of that open set that is the one which contains the non manifold points ok. The manifold points are the smooth points the non singular points and that is a huge open set ok and the non manifold points are the non smooth points they are the singular points those which are not non singular and that forms a proper closed set ok. So, you if you want to think of it in if you want to think in terms of analysis you must think of uh, a variety as a as a nice manifold with a boundary consisting of points which are not manifold points. And of course, uh, the singular points may be empty also ok you, you we have already seen last time that you know uh, if you take uh, any affine space then that is uh, uh, that is smooth which means it is non singular every point of affine space is no, uh, is a smooth point is a non singular point that is because that is basically because of this isomorphism ok that is basically given by this isomorphism. So, this isomorphism will tell you that the dimension of if you take the local ring of the point p in the affine space then m mod m squared is just k n ok and therefore, the dimension of the local ring is equal to n which is equal to dimension of the affine space. So, this calculation itself tells you uh, after you accept this theorem that calculation that first calculation itself tells you that every point of affine space is smooth. So, affine space if you take x equal to affine space then this is empty the singular points of x is empty. So, the, sing the singular points can be empty ok in which case we say the variety is a smooth variety or non singular variety if the singular points are not empty well still life is not so bad they where the set of singular points is only a small set ok you have a huge set of good points right. So, now uh, to prove this theorem one needs to go into uh, uh, a small detour of which involves a little bit of field theory and uh, 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 and and you know which come up because of concepts of by uh, issues of birationality. 